हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू प्रॉब्लम्स एंड वाइंडिंग दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मेश एनालिसिस ओके सो टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स ऑलरेडी सी दिस इज द सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सिक्स प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू मेश एनालिसिस वन प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू सुपर मेश ओके प्लीज दो हैव नॉट सीन दोज वीडियोज humble request to you guys please see those videos guys very important problems are solved from my side whatever it is possible important stuffs i have tried to provide you try to explain it to you very in a very detailed manner these explain detailed explanation won't be available anywhere in this channel only it is available so for that purpose for our efforts like this video guys hit the subscribe button to get the latest notifications and also see all the videos of network analysis especially for backlog students okay so without wasting further time this is the seventh question of network analysis sorry uh, mesh analysis let's solve it now the question is using mesh analysis find the current supplied by the 31 volt voltage source that is this is a 31 volt voltage source and the current in 4 ohm resistor okay that is we should be finding the current supplied by 31 volt that is i of 31 volt we should be finding and i of 4 ohm we should be finding okay these are the two things which should be fine here again in this case we are having one dependent source here if you observe okay but here it is we have here minus and plus and here we have the value 10v1 so that's why we can say that this is a voltage dependent voltage source that is vcvs and this voltage 10v1 is here we have marked the voltage v1 here that is between this two that's why what we can say this first we should be write trying to write the equation of v1 so if this is v1 here so this whole region is there right where the v1 is marked this whole region that is this complete region belongs to v1 okay so now using this v1 try to write the uh, using loop equation try to write the v1 v1 equation that is out uh, outward sign is plus 31 this is minus 5 and this 5 ohm lies in this loop i1 so so this is the value of v1 that is 31 minus 5 i1 like this uh, we have to substitute the value of v1 okay then nothing much to do again apply the kvl that is uh, on loop i1 and i2 and solve further okay very easy nothing much to do so let's solve loop i1 apply kvl let us start from this 31 this complete loop is loop i1 okay don't split this two loops separately this whole loop is for loop i1 only okay so start with this 31 outward sign is plus 31 minus 5 i1 then we have minus 10 and i1 minus 1 i1 minus i2 because i1 one is between i1 and i2 then we have plus 10 v1 equal to 0 but the value of v1 is 31 minus 5 i1 okay that we should be substituting minus i1 plus i2 31 31 into 10 plus 310 minus 5 into 10 that is minus 50 i1 okay now group all the i1 terms Minus five, minus ten, one fifty. That is fifty, ten, sixty, sixty-five, sixty-six. Minus sixty-six i one plus i two equal to three ten plus thirty one three forty one. If we go to other side, it will be minus three forty one. Okay. So this is the first equation. Hope this is clear. Next loop i two apply KVL again. Loop I two start from this dependent source only. The outward sign is minus here, so minus ten V one that is thirty one minus five I one. Then we have minus one into I two minus I one since one is between I two and I one. Then minus four I two equal to zero. So minus three ten plus fifty I one minus I two plus I one minus four I two. Equal to zero. Group all the I one terms. Fifty plus one, fifty one I one. I two minus four I two minus five I two equal to 
minus 310 bring it to other side it would be plus 310 so this is the second equation okay we should be finding the values of i1 i2 and volt uh, current through this 31 volt voltage source that is this i of 31 volt is equal to whatever we get the val value of i1 because this 31 volt lies in this loop so that whatever value we get of i1 that would be our current through 31 volt okay similarly current through 4 ohm resistor that is this that is we know that 4 ohm resistor lies in this loop i2 so whatever answer we get for i2 that is equal to current through 4 ohm resistor okay so like this i have written the final answer box whatever answer we get let's write it so here we have two equations once again same thing more setup equation one since we have two currents fill all the coefficients start from minus 66 1 minus 341 51 minus 5 310 so first current is 5 ampere second current is minus 11 ampere so that's why here the answer is 5 ampere right and here the answer is minus 11 ampere so current voltage current through 31 volt voltage source is 5 ampere current through 4 ohm resistor is minus 11 ampere okay hope this problem is clear this is one simple problem please take it down we'll solve one more problem and wind this session so this is the problem very simple problem we'll solve it in quick amount okay quick time the problem is find the power delivered by a dependent source in the circuit using mesh analysis here we should be find the power depend delivered by this dependent source that is we should be finding p of 20 i of a this is the thing we should be finding out okay again in this problem they have given dependent source and again this is the current controlled voltage source that is ic ves where this current here is in is flowing through this 50 ohm resistor okay so we can say that i of a is equal to i2 minus i3 okay so wherever we are whenever we are applying the loop analysis in case of i of a substitute this i2 minus i3 okay then nothing much to do apply k uh, kv uh, KVL solve for the currents and uh, whatever equation we get find the values of i1 i2 i3 then let's see further what to do okay first apply KVL on loop 1 that is this is loop 1 the outgoing sign is here 660 then we have minus 5 i1 minus 15 into i1 minus i3 since 15 is between i1 and i3 then we have minus 10 i1 minus i2 equal to 0 so 660 minus 5 i1 minus 15 i1 plus 15 i3 minus 10 i1 plus 10 i2 equal to 0 group all the uh, i1 terms 5 15 10 minus 15 minus 10 minus 5 minus 30 i1 then we have plus 10 i2 then we have 15 i3 equal to 660 bring it to other side it will be minus 660 so this is the first equation name it as equation 1 okay now apply for loop 2 kvl okay start from this dependent source only here the outward sign is 20 and i a that is i2 minus i3 okay then we have minus 10 into i2 minus i1 then we have minus 50 i2 minus i3 since 50 is between i2 and i3 so 20 i2 minus 20 i3 minus 10 i2 plus 10 i1 minus 50 i2 plus 50 i3 equal to 0 then group all the i1 terms i1 term we have only one term 10 i1 then we have 20 minus 10 plus 50 50 minus 10 40 plus 20 60 correct right 
minus 50 minus 10 minus 60 plus 20 minus 40 sorry then we have minus 20 plus 50 that is plus 30 i3 equal to 0 this is equation 2 now similarly for loop 3 start from this register minus 50 into i3 minus i2 minus 15 into i3 minus i1 minus 25 i3 equal to 0 minus 50 i3 plus 50 i2 minus 15 i3 plus 15 i1 0 group all the terms first is 15 i1 then 50 i2 minus 50 minus 15 minus 25 that is minus 90 so this is the third equation so like this you've got three equations solve for i1 i2 i3 but also they have told us to find the power through 20 ia that is dependent source the formula is v into i okay but here the value of this v is there right that is equal to 20 into ia that is i2 minus i3 okay into i that is i2 since this ia is uh, since this dependent source in this loop i2 so that's why into i2 whatever the value we get of i2 and i3 substitute in this equation and solve for power okay again the same thing in the calci mode equation press 2 write all the coefficients minus 30 10 15 minus 660 10 minus 40 30 0 15 50 minus 90 0 so first answer is 42 27 22 okay substitute the necessary i2 and i3 in this equation 20 into i2 is 27 minus i3 is 22 into 27 that is 20 into 5 into 27 that is 25 is 100 into 27 that is 2700 watt or 2.7 kilowatt okay so like this you should be solving this problem hope this is clear very easy problem using dependent source identify which dependent source and then solve it okay very easy like this video guys that's all for this session next concept next concept is node analysis very interesting so you would be enjoying that also so hope you understood some of the concepts related to mesh analysis we have one more concept and then this module is over okay that's all thank you